So Sarah found this idea online about making a treat for your horse in the hot summer weather to put to their into their water bucket or their water feeder, their water trough. And ultimately what you're going to do is you're going to take a fruit that they like. We've chosen apples. You take a balloon, you cut up your fruit, put it in the balloon, fill the balloon with water, then you're going to freeze it. When you get to the barn, grab a couple of them, rip the balloon off, dump it in the water trough, gives them something to play with, something to occupy them and keep them busy, cools off the water in the hot months, and the prize at the end of the tunnel is some fruit. So what I've done is I've chosen an apple that our horse Jesse likes, <clears throat> and I'm quartering the apple, and then I'm taking that simply because I've made several now and I find it easier to get into the balloon if it is if those quarters are cut in half. I take the balloon and it took a little practice. Balloons are they're really pretty tight. I tried with the water first, I tried with the apple first, I decided I like the apple first. So I get a nice big hole going. You're gonna hold it nice and tight. And I actually put a half of my apple, four slices. I guess you could try to squeeze more. It depends on the quality of the balloon and what size balloon you purchased. I come over here to the sink and I put my balloon right around the end of the faucet. When I make sure that it's on there really well, I'm just going to kind of support it. I've been filling our balloons so that they're about the size of a large grapefruit or a small cantaloupe. <clears throat> Simply because it seems like a pretty good size to do, manageable, hand, easy to handle. Turn your water off first. On my first practice one, I pulled the balloon off first and the water shot all over the kitchen. Now, real easy, the neck is all extended, the weight of the water is pulling it down, real easy to tie that knot. And voila, you have a water balloon full of fruit. Now we're going to take the balloons that we've made and go put them in the freezer. And I'm probably going to, I think, line them up in the door. I think that might be the easiest. So we're back and it's day two. All of the balloons spent the night in the freezer. We're headed to the barn in just a few minutes to put them in the horse's water trough and water buckets and see the results, see if they like them. Right, so we're back with uh, the finished product of the frozen ice with the fruit inside of it. Uh, it's like you see, it's just frozen. So what we're gonna do is just pop off the balloon. <laughs> pop off the balloon and drop it in the water. Now it's full of your fruit. It's gonna cool off the water. Come here, Jack. It's a treat for your horse. Oh, that's some good stuff, huh? Oh, that's some good stuff. You want some help? Huh? He's like, let me get an apple off that. Yeah. 